Morning, folks. I'm Dave Canterbury with Self Reliance Outfitters and the Pathfinder School back out here at the Pathfinder Outdoor Classroom. What I thought we'd do today is talk a little bit about blocking tackles, talk about how to set one of those up, and talk about what's called progress capture. What that allows you to do is advance your load to a certain point, and then without having to hold the load and try to tie things off at the same time, you can let the tension off the load, and it will capture that progress so that the load doesn't fall down from the position that you've elevated it to. And there's a couple different ways that we can do this. One of them is easier for a one-person operation. One of them is really easy for a two-person operation. But the first thing we need to do is set up a basic block and tackle. So let's talk about that first. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a piece of rope that's, I don't know, 30 foot long, 40 foot long, something like that. We've got a couple carabiners here that have pulley blocks on them. And these are double shivs. They have two pulleys. And you can basically open them up to put rope in and close them back up and then connect them together with one carabiner or soft shackle. And you also have an area here you can hang another carabiner off of if you wanted to for your system. So it's a very versatile system and I carry two of those in my rope bag usually. One carabiner just like this. So what we're going to do with this is, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take these carabiners out for the moment. And we're going to uncoil our rope so that we can run it through our pulley system to create our block and tackle. Okay, so once we've got our pulleys here, turn them both up the same way so you can see them. The first thing we wanna do is we want to attach our rope to the center block of the bottom of one of these pulleys. That's gonna be our stationary point, basically. All right, I put this carabiner on here just to kind of hold things in place. What we're gonna do is we're gonna tie a bowling knot to this bottom loop. That's gonna be our stationary point. So I'm just gonna take my line, just like I was gonna tie a regular bowling knot. Put this right through, up, around the back side, back through. So basically I just tied a regular bowling knot right there to give me security. That's the start. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna come down here to our inside, get our rope inside there and lock it off. And then we're going to go up to the top and go to the same place. So again, our outside. Now we have this. Now we're going to set this sideways, just like this. And we're gonna to go to the inside on this side, pull it through and lock it off. At that point, now we can put a carabiner in here because we've got all the rope through there that we're gonna put through. And if we wanna stretch this out a little bit, we can do that. And then we're gonna take this tail and go up and go through the last side here, just like this. Then we'll take a carabiner for a keeper and we'll lock that off. So now what we have is we have a block and tackle system set up that we can use as a hoist. And if we wanted to leave this system set up, it's easy enough to do that. You can just stretch this thing out, use your rope to tie it off, wrap rope down it, and you've got a portable block and tackle system. So you don't have to set that up every single time if you don't want to. Now we're going to go up to a stationary point and I've just got a wrapped shackle around the beam here in the barn in the classroom. And I've pulled this system almost to the top. Now, all I have to do once I have that locked off right there is start to pull down on this and the entire system will travel down just like this to whatever I want to lift, which is going to be the stack of weights. Okay, so now we're connected at the bottom, we're connected at the top and we have four to one mechanical advantage over this amount of weight. And there's only about 60 pounds right there. So we're not lifting a whole lot, but it's a good demonstration. And we're gonna talk about progress capture next. So now with this system, I can easily take this rope and I can lift this pretty much with one hand, very, very easily. Because I've got four to one mechanical advantage. If your ropes start to twist on you, just untwist them. 
when you've got some dead weight hanging there like that, it tends to do that. The problem becomes now when I want to tie this off to something because I've still got to hold on to this weight to keep it from falling while I'm trying to tie this off on something. And if I've got something where I've got some slack and I can whip a couple half hitches around or something, that'll work for you, okay? Especially with four to one advantage like this. But there's a much easier way to do that called progress capture. All right, so what we want to do for progress capture, we want to find the line that when we pull it, is drawing that line up into the outside pulley, and that will be this one. So as this releases, this line goes down. We want to take that particular line, and we want to tie a prusik loop on it. So we're just going to take a prusik loop here, and we're going to go one, two, three times around the line, just like that. Dress him up a little bit. And now we have a prusik loop on that line. Now we're going to take that to the top, and we're going to connect this to the carabiner at the top. All right, so now we're going to take this prusik knot and slide it all the way up to the pulley block. And we're going to put a carabiner in it in case we can't reach. What we want to do is we want to connect it to that carabiner. But if we can't reach for some reason, we can always just put another carabiner on there. Or we can snap it into our original spot up at the top, just like that. Either one is going to work fine. And what that's going to do is it's going to allow this thing to be pulled up into the system. But when you release the system, it'll lock on this prusik knot and it won't let it go anywhere. And it will capture your progress. So let's look at that. All right, so we're going to pull this weight up. And then I'm going to release it. And you see when I released it, what happened there? It locked on that prusik and now my weight is suspended off the ground and I don't have this rope in my hand anymore. And I can go ahead and choke up on that again, bring it up. And what's gonna happen is as soon as that prusik knot hits that carabiner, it will collapse to pull it higher. And when I let go, it's gonna hang up on the prusik knot again. And I'm gonna be further off the ground than I was the first time and I can let go of the rope again. Now I have a slack rope that I can tie off to something for security to make sure that my load doesn't fall. But if I'm hoisting a deer or something like that with the system, it makes it very easy to capture my progress and not have to hold on to all that weight while I'm trying to tie it off. When we let go, it captures. Every time we advance and we let go, it captures that progress and keeps that weight off the ground. If we want to release it, we just compress that thing. We can hold it with our fingers. You can hold it with a fork stick, whatever. If you don't want your hands in there and just release it, it won't travel real fast anyway, depending on how much weight you've got on there. And then you can get your weight back on the ground and you can take your system apart. So if you want to carry the system with you, it's very simple. All I did was wrap up the line with the excess rope, tied a half hitch in it here at the end, hooked that into the carabiner, coiled the remaining part of the rope, and that's an easy compact system to throw into a four-wheeler or something like that if you're out deer hunting, and it makes a very, very convenient four-to-one system for being able to lift heavy objects, whether that be getting a four-wheeler unstuck perhaps, hanging a deer, moving a heavy log, lots and lots of application for this in the woods. All you have to do is understand the mechanics and it's very, very easy. Listen guys, I appreciate Joe Manor today for this video. Just a quick look at a block and tackle and a couple methods of progress capture to suspend that weight while you tie it off for security purposes. We have lots and lots of training here at the Pathfinder School to include a rope clinic, which basically teaches a lot of rigging and things like that as well. I would encourage you to look that class up on our website at selfrelianceoutfitters.com. Meanwhile, I appreciate your views. I appreciate your support. I thank you for everything you do for our school, for our family, and for our business, all our sponsors, instructors, affiliates, and friends. And I'll be back with another video as soon as I can, guys. Thanks.